السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس اٹس پروفیسر شکیل احمد اسپیکنگ ٹو یو ٹوڈے اٹس گوئنگ ٹو بی دا فورتھ لیکچر آن کلاسیکل پوئٹری اینڈ دا پوئم از دا سیم دیٹ از دا ریپ آف دا لاک بائی الیگزانڈر پوپ وی ہیو آلریڈی اسٹڈیڈ اٹس ٹیکسٹ لاسٹ ٹائم وی کنکلوڈیڈ اٹ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اے فیو امپارٹنٹ اسپیکٹس آف دا سیم پوئم This poem consists chiefly of three important aspects. The most important one is the rape of the lark as a mock epic. Now, first of all, you must know what an epic is so that you could understand the definition of mock epic. By an epic, we mean a long drawn poem consisting of hundreds of lines containing great heroes great warriors kings and princes in it now this poem this sort of poem that is an epic presents great wars great adventures battles and great heroes are engaged in these battles and wars they go through deadly fights resulting in a lot of casualty these wars are quite destructive and they are fought on a very large scale now a mock epic is a sort of parody of it it seems to make fun of an epic an epic consists of great heroes and great warriors whereas a mock epic consists of ordinary people ordinary people are its main characters in an epic great heroes go through great, great adventures great wars with weapons equally great they fight with weapons like swords arrows daggers shields but in a mock epic the so called heroes go through battles or fights on a minor scale and they make use of weapons like cudgels sticks bodkins pins needles scissors etc after all it's it, it has to be a mock epic it makes fun of the serious great adventures of an epic so the same thing happens in the rape of the log in the rape of the log there are so called heroes and heroines they actually belong to the upper class of society they are artificial people they get engaged in rather wars or battles of words now the lack of fear of belinda is severed she has to take revenge from the baron for it they go through a strange sort of war or battle in which the two parties make use of weapons like sticks pins needles and botkins and the way these things are presented is quite laughable you definitely laugh at the way they fight against one another the way they get angry the way they make use of things like snuff scissors botkins etc now as far as the style is concerned it is something different it remains the same and in it lies the irony ordinary people like blenda and that lord are presented with a great style in an epic the style is grand same is the case with a mock epic the style remains equally grand the poet makes use makes use of chosen words his language is highly poetical and it's the heroic couplet in hexameter that he chooses to present his mock epic these things account for the fun that li- are the mockery of the situation that lies in the rape of the log the 
small things minor things are presented in a great way this is the first important aspect of this poem now we come to the second one and that is the rape of the lock as the representative poem of that age it's the chronicle of that age you know that it was written in 18th century and the 18th century was the age of not only prose and reason it was also the age of artificial people the same two things are presented in it this poem seems much more a piece of prose than a piece of poetry the way it is written and the topic it consists of and the second thing is it represents the artificial people of that society they used to live an unnatural life especially the people of the upper class or the aristocratic society they used to live a very artificial life they used to wake up at 12 and they had to spend their evening or their nights at the clubs the same sort of artificial people are presented in this poem the poet makes fun of their ways of living the way they spend their time in clubs doing nothing just trivial things happen to them the poet has in this way made fun of that artificial society and then it was the age that is remembered as new classicism so the poet has tried his best to revive a number of things of the old classical era this is the second aspect of the, the rape of the lock now we come to its third aspect that is the rape of the lock as a satire you know that satire is a sort of poetry in which the poet makes fun of a particular society nation people or person by using weapons like irony and by taunting that person or that nation with abusive or insulting remarks the same things make up this piece of poetry that is the rape of the log it's a satire the poet has satirized that artificial society through it he has especially made use of the weapon of irony for that purpose the way belinda gets up late the way she gives more importance to her dogs than to other people the way she considers the bible bible and the love letters as equally important and the way she visits a club the way she challenges the lord there is a lot of irony in all these things through this irony the poet has made fun of that artificial society now the poet has also made use of another standard that is the great becomes small and the small becomes great in his poetry now the thing as great as the bible is become as small as in lab dogs or his or our 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 lab letters are there is once again a lot of irony in all these things so these are the three important aspects for which you should study the rape of the log and they cover almost the whole piece of um, poetry that is the rape of the log and then uh, there are a few other aspects not as much important but still important one of them is the machinery of that poem by machinery we may we mean the cells the cells which appear from four different important elements of this universe that is from the air from the sea from the fire and from the earth the machinery too makes up a very important part of the rape of the log 
so you should prepare all these things from this poem it's enough for today thank you very much allah hafiz